All right. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to Yaakim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. As we always keep saying, brothers, we're damn near at the end of this thing. We're in the last seconds of the last minutes. You're seeing all hell break loose around you, which is why you shouldn't uh, be getting weak, especially at this point, not letting the cares of the world take you out of this truth. Because a lot of brothers have been seeing it lately and talking about it in videos saying they got some brothers that may not uh, uh, yoke up with the, with the brotherhood or maybe not even show up to camp because uh, it's not because they don't have work or anything like that. It's because they're letting the cares of the world take them out, whether it be a woman or family members or what have you. Children. Children, children especially. But um, if you truly understand these scriptures, you know that if you put anything before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Most High is going to take that thing you put before him and put it at uh, adversity towards you to where it's just going to vex you to the point to where you're going to want to die, especially since we're coming into these times of Jacob's trouble. Especially if you're of the elect. Mm -hmm. If you're of the elect, you're going to make it in the kingdom of heaven. But if you, whatever vice you have that's having you at enmity with the Most High, he's going to make that vice your fucking enemy. So if you loving a woman more than you loving your how about Shema was shot, he's gonna make sure her enemy. If you love your mother or your father more than you love your how about Shema was shot, he's gonna make him your enemy. And he might not even just make him your enemy. He'll kill the motherfuckers, man. He'll just take it out of your life, period. A, 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 a habit where it's just a, a fucking uh, sword in your flesh, man. You know? So that's why he said, man, love the father. Uh, with all thy soul, with all thy heart, with thy heart, your mind. That's the first and greatest commandment. And he means that. And he's a jealous power. He he has more uh, character traits than love, mercy, and grace. All right? He's vengeful. He's terrible. And guess what? He's jealous. He's got all the all our character traits, but in perfect balance. That's right, bro. And you, and you got to remember, if you're this deep into the truth right now, you got to know that you'll get a hundredfold in the next side if you forsake with, uh, the carnalness on this side. So it shouldn't be any a contest on what you're going to do. Oh. Yeah, we're going to open it up with Luke chapter 9, verse 62. All right. And it reads, Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh shot said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shot by Hashem Rekar Kadash. Con. So point blank period. If you put your hand to this plow and this truth, you should have known what you signed up for. You should have known it was with each passing day it was going to get harder and not easier. You should have been ready to make yourself a living sacrifice and cut off all anything in this world that could make you more attached to it, to this carnal based world. And I mean, if you do, if you do find yourself uh, taking your hand off this plow, just praying fast, as the brothers always say. Because as we said a little earlier, if you forsake Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the things of this world, the calamities that are going to befall you during Jacob's trouble are going to make you feel pain to the nerve endings. And it's going to be that much harder if you are a man in this truth. And another thing, like, guys that forsake it for your wife or your mother or your children, the own, let's say in righteous, for your righteousness sake. We, we want our wife, our children to march in the kingdom of heaven with us. The only chance they have is how hard you go in this truth. That's the only chance they have. The, pass me the pocket. Yeah. The only chance they have is what you do, how you serve your high body, your shabbat. Because guess what? The only woman, the only chance a woman have is how she serves her husband. The scriptures say a woman shall be saved through childbearing. So it's going to be on how she serves her husband. This is second Ezra's. I mean, also the woman's a weaker vessel too, so you shouldn't be letting that take you out. Because look at how easily Eve uh, gave into the serpent and got us in this situation to begin with. Right. This is second Ezra's chapter nine verse seven, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, you're going to escape by your works. Faith without works is dead. The Most High is going to judge us according to our deeds, man. All right, so I'm going to start at the top again. And everyone, verse 7, and everyone that shall be saved and shall escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye believe. We act on our belief. We believe the words of how about Shema was shot. So therefore, we go forth and teach. 
We go for and study these scriptures so we can rightly divide them and prophesy to the nations. Okay. And then if I could say real quick, got it. in a sense that shows you don't really have that much faith if you're letting the cares of this world take you from doing the work. Okay. In verse eight, he go to mother. He go to the meat of it. Shall be preserved from the said perils. So what you do, those you forsaking your heart by Shemi Awashai for your children, your family, you know, if they if you wanted them to get escape, escape, it'll be on how you work from the from the um preserve from the said perils. We know what the perils are. Martial law, the mark of the beast. All right, Esau coming down on our people with great wrath. If you wanted them to be delivered, they're gonna be delivered according to your works. Our household can only get saved through who? Us. Us. <laughs> so what the fuck I look like putting my household before your how about Shemel Osha? You look like a mass murderer because you killed your family. You killed your whole household. And you're also a suicidal because you killed yourself. <laughs> God, bro. So you're a, a, a suicidal mass murderer. You sound like Esau. <laughs> Fucking idiot. What, 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 what other uh, script you want to get you for? Uh, Matthew chapter 8, uh, 21 to 22. All right. You can write it. Got you. Matthew 8 and 21. And he said unto them. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. How is yep, these letters are in red. How is it that you do not understand? And come into Bosida and they bring bring a blind. Oh, oh you're Mark. Oh, I'm in Mark. So like you. So like you. Oh, so good. I was wondering for a second. Come. Matthew 8 and 21. And another of his disciples said unto him, Yahweh, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Hey, taking your hand off that plow once the, the work has been presented to you, you're supposed to just cut it off automatically once you hear this word. Now, given there is a little bit of leeway, a little bit of that grace period time to build yourself up, but once you, you're on that level. Younger brothers, they come in. You know, they stay up. We, we might have them stay on the other side five or six months before they come into camp. Younger brothers have more grace and mercy and they can they have more room to fall for a brother being here five or six years. You you you, you, you have no cloak for your maliciousness. No, no, man. You've been in here five or six years and certain certain discussions shouldn't even come up. Okay. You know? You got it. A good a good analogy to always use is just think of the military. Think if you've been like a a, a uh, you're like a lieutenant or a sergeant or something. You've been there for a couple of years, so you should know something. So once a battle breaks out, you should know how to lead the men. You shouldn't bitch up at the moment and get everybody killed. Yeah. Come on. You okay. should understand the order, the procedures. You've been battle tested if you've gotten to that rank. So there's no excuse. And, and we're not being over-righteous. Everybody going to fall. Older brother, Con. all the way from the least to the greatest of us. But it's just, it, it's not supposed to be a pattern. It's not supposed to be with consistency. In fact, the scriptures say you're supposed to learn how to sin less. All right? In the Apocrypha. I don't know exactly where that scripture is. It say we are supposed to learn. As a matter of fact, I know. Give me the Apocrypha. I know where it's at. I'll call Hala Yahab by Shema Shah. Apocrypha. Chapter 3. Another thing. Stay reading these scriptures. Because brother was able to come up with a precept we didn't have on our list that goes with the topic that's showing your diligence not taking your hand off the plow and letting the things of the world keep you from reading making videos or uh, uh, watching videos or just yoking up with the brothers this is uh Cyrax 17 to 25 return unto Yahweh forsake thy sins make thy prayer before his face and offend less you see what I'm saying? All of us going to uh, offend. Mm -hmm. Romans the 8th chapter say the creation is subject to vanity. But the older you get, the more you're supposed to offend less. Yeah, one week might come. You you can't babysit. You know, don't have a babysitter for your child or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it happens. That's not supposed to happen the first month, the second month, the third month, the fourth month. No, now it's ridiculous. Hey, it shouldn't become a noticeable pattern like no, my brother said earlier. Be, no, no, no. For an older brother. Mm -hmm. No, Con. no, 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 man. You know how about Shema was shot? He put us in his truth to grow. You see what I'm saying? What John the Baptist say? Uh, those that don't bring forth fruit, cut them off the ox, the axe, and cut them off at the roof and throw them in the incinerator, man. 
And he meant that's how you, that those were your high Shima was Shai's word. John the Baptist was just a a, a, a oracle, a, a, a medium, you know. So man, we got we we got to get with this thing. It's time to be perfect. And also, if you if you're letting the cares of this world take you out of the truth, uh, Paul said I can't remember. I think it might have been in uh, it might have been in Romans where he said uh. The branch could get cut off from the main vine and have another one replace you just like that. That's that's um that's um Romans eleven. That's Romans eleven. The most high isn't playing games. You want to get it? Uh, we don't have to get it. Yeah. But pretty much the most high is not playing games. Like we're we're worms. The, as the most high said, he could bring up rocks to do our job. So that just shows how vital it is and how important it is that you, you keep pushing, not letting the cares of this world take you out, how much of a precious gift you've been given. Because I heard one account of a brother in another camp that said they had a brother that was uh, faltering. And not only did he uh, fall out of the camp, but the most high brought in a brother with a, a bigger spirit than him that looked just like him. Wow. Looked just, they said it looked just like him and was preaching a similar way that he did, but was on a higher level. And... But our great king say, man, if y'all don't do it, I'll raise up stones mm -hmm. to, to worship um, y'all by Shemal Shah, man. So none of us, the most high don't need none of us. It's nothing for him to replace you. Nothing. Nothing. He don't need none of us. You know, Lord forbid, El Taha fall down. Somebody's going to raise up in his stead, man. That's how you hide by Shemal Shah. Look what he did with Saul. Saul, when he came in, he was prophesying. He 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 was parading with the prophets, he prophesying. Was beloved by all the people. Beloved by all the people. He was replaced. You see? All right. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Matthew 8 and 21. All right. Verse 22. But Yahweh Shah said Did you in read 21. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I read well, I read again. Okay. Matthew 8 and 21. And another of his disciples said unto him. Yahweh, suffer me first to go and yeah, no, that he was talking to Yahweh Shai. And, and and another disciple said unto him, Yahweh Shai, suffer me to go and bury my father. But Yahweh Shai said unto him, Follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Point blank period. Leave off all the cares of this world. They can take care of themselves. And by you following Yahweh Shai, you're taking care of them as we were saying earlier. That's the only way you're gonna save your household, is that you stay consistent in this thing and push this word. Right, you want me to keep going? Oh, no, just uh, Matthew 10 37 to 38. Oh, yeah. I had that one. We good. You want me to read that one for you? No, I got you. I think I was gonna start at 34. Though. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna start at 34. Okay. Right? All right, because we're gonna touch in on the family. You got, you got people. Uh, you got people putting the most high on the sideline to put their family first, man. You know, treating the most high. And it's truth like, like, uh, cause I can say like a side bitch, man. No, this truth is the main line. This is our woman. This is our wife, man. She come first and foremost. All right. This is Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I've come to sing peace on earth. I am not coming to send peace, but a sword. For I come to set a man in variance against his father, against your family. You never hear the Christians talk about that, do you? Yeah. And a daughter against her mother, all right? And a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. See, our children, man, you, you have to deal with them. Um, You have to deal with them accordingly. The Most High put a spirit on them, and they'll be trying to offer up the prophets to them, man. You see what I'm saying? You don't put your energy in your children before this truth, man. Okay? You don't put you don't put um your 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 family and your uh children before this truth. The most I say I'm gonna bring a sword between your families. So the only chance your family got is how you serve your high by shot. Mm -hmm. Alright? A man's foe shall be of them, them of his own household. If you in this in this truth and in this light, you should know that. Alright? Do we pray for our families? Yes. You got your seed, you pray for your seed. But you got to let the dead bury the dead. You got to let them do what they got to do if they're uh, trying to take you out of this truth. Miss Count behind them? Hell no. Mr. The uh, Fellowship of the Brotherhood behind them? Hell no. Hell no. I, what Paul say, I be, woe is me if I preach not the gospel, man. Mm -hmm. 
he that love a father a mother more than me is not worthy of me. Him that right? takes his hand off the plow. Because, I mean, if you've been in this uh, truth for a while and your, your family members know what you do, they're going to come at you and try to be like, hey, you want to come uh, celebrate Halloween or Christmas? Mm -hmm. They're going to keep trying to wear you down and wear you down because they're completely given over to this world. But you can't get weak. You just got to push through it. And, I mean, you just have to come to accept the fact that you want your loved ones to make it, but there's more than a good chance that they're not going to make it. Maybe, maybe by you pushing this word, you might be able to ease their death and let them have a quick death yeah. instead of make them suffer. See, that's being in reality, brother. It's beautiful you said that. You could go hard and be in your how about Shema with Shaz, good grace. You, he's well pleased with you. And there's a chance your family still won't make it. You will come in, but if you're on a level, if you're on that spiritual level, like this brother said before we even started, he said, man, you'll get all that back a hundredfold. You'll be able to get that same child back. If you're rocking according to spirit, we're going to have control of bringing spirits into this realm and let and taking them out. The elect. So even if you lose them, if you lose your beloved son who you love dearly, I, I love my sons dearly. All right. But I love this truth more. All right. Even if they get slayed by Esau, sleep Esau, torture them and kill them. Guess what? I'm going to get them back. If I'm of the elect, I'm going to get them back in the kingdom, man. Hey, I... You're going to get them back, and you're going to get that Edomite who slayed them in the kingdom to be able to do whatever you want to. You him. fucking right, man. And there's going to be nothing to stop it. It's all going to be in righteousness, but you're going to put that work to him. You have your son next to you mm -hmm. going going in on that Edomite. <laughs> oh, you don't even kill him, eh, son. This the one that got you. Have, have your way with him. You know? All right. Um, that was a verse. All right, and he that loves a son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Point blank, period. Just what we what we just said. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Him that takes his hand off the plow unless the cares of the world take him out of this truth. It may sound redundant, Ock, but that's just how the scriptures are. He's trying to hammer it, hammer it, and hammer it into Jake's head because all throughout the scripture says this is a hard necked, hard headed, and stiff necked people. You can see it. You can you can just see it with these two thirds out here, and even some brothers in your camps. Like yeah. you keep telling them and telling them, and through this epistle as well, you tell them, and they may still not get it. And I'm gonna give you another example. You got brothers. Most of the brothers work. If you to the point where you miss camp in a month, but you didn't miss work one day, you need to check yourself. All right, it's four times in a month we got to go to camp. Out of that, four times in a month. So that's less days than you have to go on Esau's job. So out of that four times in a month, you miss camp twice. But you have to be at, least at Esau's job twice as many times that, and you didn't miss it once. Six you, days a week. You need to check your fucking self. Hey, if you're in that spirit, it sounds like you're in the spirit of getting that chip. Yeah. You need to check your motherfucking self, man. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. It's, it's no excuse. It's no excuse. That was it on that one. We'll just uh, close it off with Luke chapter 14. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. We don't got that much time. Yeah. Man. Hold up. I'm gonna, uh, you want to just close it off on this? Because this next one's a little long. This is verse 15 to 24. All right. Well, tell me what to get. Luke 14. Uh, start verse 15. Come on. I know what that is. All right. Here we go. Luke 14 verse 15. And when one of them sat at meat with him and heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed be thee, blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of Yahweh. Then he said unto them, A certain man Yahweh speaking again, made a great supper and, and bade many. And he sent a servant, a Salaki, and he sent his servant as supper unto him to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. Mm -hmm. This is Yahweh. This is Yahweh Shai's supper, and uh, the servants of the prophets out there on the highways and byways, trying to gather in the, uh, the well, we'll just get into it. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. mm -hmm. excuses. My children, my job, these I are got the, this engagement, I have that engagement. These are, it's twofold, these are the people 
on the one hand, who are supposed to be prophets on the highways and byways preaching this word, but they'll come up, as the brother just said, I got other obligations. I got to go to my uh, kid's recital. I got to go uh, go to my job. I got to take my woman to the movies. But also for you uh, two-thirds out there who are hearing this word and don't want to hearken unto it. Mm -hmm. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must need go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And I just... We don't got that much time. I'm going to just read through and then you break it down. And another said, I have about five yoke of oxen and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. How about Shema Shah not feeling that? And another said, I am married, have a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and shooed his, his, his Lord these things. And the master of the house being angry said to his servant, go quickly into the streets and, and lanes in the city. And bring hither the poor, the maimed, and the half, and the blind. And the servant said, Yahweh, it is done as thou hast commanded. And, the, and there, the, there is room. And, ye, and the Lord said unto him, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. And I said unto you, that none of those men will bid and shall taste of my supper. Hey, as we said earlier, the Most High could raise up stones to do this work for him. So, hey, if you don't want to come to that supper because you got to buy a house, you got to deal with your woman or et cetera, the Most High, it just said point blank period, they're not worthy to partake of that supper. So you could as easily be taken out and uh, just be in a, that much of a worse situation, which is imperative why you shouldn't let the cares of this world take you out and really check yourself, especially as you can see things are falling apart all around us. But we're almost uh, out of time on this video. So um, with this sit down, we hope you a uh, sincere Akim out there were edified and to you uh, Akim out there that may be a little on the fringe, uh, hopefully this uh, reaches your ears and lets grab you grab a little bit. Grab that bull by the horns and yee, cowboy, you know, Cow. straight up. So, so with that, we're going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you. Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Kwam Yasharal and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball.